ready to explode. Time to call you. Oh! Oh, that flanger did add some sauce. I watch too much TikTok. We probably all do, if we're being honest. But every now and then, I see something and I'm like, ah, I gotta try that. So I saved six of them today and we're gonna give them a shot, see if they work. Some of these I kind of know, some of these I don't. I don't know, we'll find out. If this is your first time here, I'm Major Barth producing In The Box where I teach you how to make incredible sounding music without analog gear and I think you're better off without it. So now without further ado, let's just jump into these TikToks and see if we can actually learn something on this app. Okay, number one. Producers, this is an essential production hack that not enough people know about. It's called the reverse reverb effect. A lot of people do this with vocals, but you can really do it with any instrument. Balance the first bar of the track that you want to reverse. Put a reverb with a long decay on that track. Yep. Reverse that track and then mm -hmm. bounce the reverse track. Then reverse the track again and put it right before the song starts. This is what it sounds like as a reversed vocal. Okay, yeah, this is pretty simple. Um, I do this a lot, actually. You just basically take a little section of the song or a little section of the vocal and then just like reverse it with a bunch of reverb. And it really makes this really cool like swell in effect. So here I have this vocal. It sounds like this. I heard you were feeling lonely, but you don't ever call me. It's pathetic. Oh. So let's say I wanted to like bring that beginning part in and I just take this intro. Uh, 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 yeah, we'll just take that, cut it like right about there. And then uh, let's just drop this down here and let's just give it a whole bunch of reverb, man. I like to use lustrous plates. It just sounds good to me. Just crank everything up. Uh, you feel no now we're just gonna select it and uh, we're just gonna bounce that to a new track here. Now we'll just bring that ah uh, back in and uh, we're just gonna reverse it. I have to probably shorten this up to make it fit in the beginning part there. Oh yeah, yeah. Sometimes I even like to add a little fade in there. So now it sounds like this. Yeah, pretty neat trick. I've done it a lot. Um, it's a pretty popular trick. But honestly, if you if you're not doing this, you should start doing this. It's great for transitions, like back over here. Yeah, it's just a reverse vocal. That's all it is. And I just kind of like to swell it in and swell it out. And it gives that really neat little effect there. It works. It's a great trick. So TikTok one. Cool vocal trick. This is a trick that we use on pretty much every song lately. It's going to add a lot of depth and a lot of ambience to your vocals. For this example, I'm going to use the acapella of our new track, Crying You Out, along with some of the stems of the track for reference. First, duplicate your vocal track. Next, add a reverb, leave it 100% wet, reverse the vocals, and then freeze them or bounce them or export or whatever okay, you yeah. do in your door, and then bring them back in and reverse them back again. So what you have now is the vocal reversing into every phrase, which is gonna sound amazing. Yeah, so this is essentially like the first track, except they're doing it underneath the entire phrase. So, uh, I don't know, let's give it a shot. Truth so loud, no more secrets now, I'm on overload. Ready to explode. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Just kind of take this down, duplicate it. So then he said, add a bunch of reverb. Once again, I'm going to use Lustrous Plates because I just love this plugin. All the way up. So now we're going to reverse these. The truth so loud, no more secrets now. Now I'm supposed to bounce this selection out. All right, so we have this vocal now. We're supposed to reverse it back to its original here. But the truth so loud, no more secrets now. I'm on overload, ready to explode. That's kind of cool. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like that. I don't think it works for this specific track, but that's kind of a neat trick, and I might use that in the future. Now, I've done something similar, but I've used like a reverse plugin, like the Kilo Hearts Reverser. Truth so loud, no more secrets now. I'm on overload, ready to explode. Yeah, it kind of does a similar effect, except you don't have like all of the reverb kind of blending along with it. I kind of like the reverser better. I mean, maybe it's just this specific track I think it sounds better on, but yeah, I've used the reverser before and I think that's a really neat trick as well. So yeah, TikTok, another one. A trick every music producer should know. It's the vocal widening effect that's used on every pop song ever. It's gonna make your lead vocal sound richer every pop song and wider ever? in your mix. There that's a pretty bold claim. There's lots of plugins which do this, but I'm gonna show you how to do it for free in Logic. So I've got my vocal track here, and first up, I'm gonna send this track to an AUX using a bus. Okay. You wanna make sure the AUX track is in stereo. 
Then on the aux track, open up the pitch shifter plugin. Firstly, make sure the stereo link setting is set to invert. Then set the semitone okay. knob to zero, the sense to five, and the mix to 100% wet. Then blend this in subtly with your dry vocal, and it sounds like this. You asked me if I'd write a tune to tell you how much I love you. Okay, I don't think this trick has been used on every pop production vocal ever. And that's a pretty bold claim. But it sounds to me like he's trying to emulate a double take. And, and a double take is something completely different than this. A double take is where you ask your vocalist to actually sing the exact same thing just one more time over or two more times over. And then you can like pan them left and right along with the main vocal. And those like little subtle differences that we make as humans really kind of blend everything together, give you a nice stereo field. And it kind of gives you a similar effect but uh, let's give that a shot. Let's just turn off the effects real quick. The truth so loud. And uh, yeah, I guess we're gonna send it to a bus channel here. Now I don't have Logic because I have a Windows computer. I have Logic on my MacBook. If you wanna know why I switched, you can click that card up there. But let's see if we can replicate this inside of Studio One. So I'm just gonna use uh, the pitch shifter here and he said five cents. And then he inverted the phase, which is usually not a good idea because if you try to bring everything back to mono, things start to get phasey. But uh, I mean, we'll, we'll try it anyway. We'll just invert. Time to call the truth so loud, no more see. It's, an, it's a neat trick. I don't really seem to like it though. There's a lot of other ways to do this um, and, and a lot of other free tools that you can use to do this as well. For example, Vocal Doubler, last time I checked, this was a free tool. It does a similar effect, just a bit better. The truth so loud, no more secrets now. I'm on overload, ready to explode. Time yeah, that's just a, a better result and that is also a free plugin. So uh, yeah, I'm I'm not gonna give a one to TikTok here because I, I think that this is just a better option and I don't like the phase inversion because when you bounce things back to mono, it just adds a lot of problems. So I'm gonna give TikTok a negative one for that one. I've got the simplest way for you to balance your lead vocal in the mix every single time. Oh, every time. Well, it's not really my tip, oh, but tricky. I stole it from a big time producer in the 90s and it's worked for me ever since. Listen to your mix super quietly on near field monitors. Place okay, the yeah. vocal level so you can just hear it sitting on top yeah. of the mix. Now move so you're sitting at the side of your speakers. By listening off center, you'll hear perfectly if they need to be a touch higher or lower. Yeah. I did tell you it was simple. Let me know in the comments how you get on doing this. Yeah, yeah, no, he's not wrong. Great job, Streaky, by the way. That's phenomenal and i didn't know that one for a long time if you just turn your volume down until you can barely hear things and then just kind of get your vocal to set almost on top of the mix you're usually going to be in a great spot moving if you have monitors instead of just headphones um, moving from side to side really helps but if you turn your volume down until you can just barely hear the music you should be able to hear the kick the snare and the vocals those things should be poking out and the, and the vocals should be just sitting on top of everything else that's a that's a fantastic trick Absolutely love it. Yeah, I'm gonna get him another one to TikTok and Streaky, just great job with that. His YouTube channel is also really, really great. If you guys need to know anything about mastering, the guy's incredible. I'll leave his link to his channel down in the description below if you guys are interested. How to get them saucy vocal delays, the easy way. Saucy, saucy. Let's check it out. The first thing you wanna do is you wanna duplicate your track. Now you wanna take the parts okay. you want the echo on and just drag them down to your new track pull up the waves H delay and dial in our delay oh, classic. time. Invert classic. the phase for the extra sauce. Add a little bit of high. What is it with you guys and inverting phases? I mean, I guess I've done it before. I just, you gotta be real careful when you start inverting phases because when things go back to mono, you start having issues, man. Pass and low pass so it's not competing with your lead vocal. Let's dial back our feedback. Go ahead and turn off the analog. Let's pull up the waves R verb and dial that back a touch. Slap on that waves meta flange. This guy loves waves. He loves his Waves plugins. To add the extra flavor and let's dial back the mix a little bit. And the last thing, let's dial in this delay to our taste. Let's see what we got. Yeah, yeah, no, he's nailing that. I'm gonna do this without Waves plugins because I don't have a lot of Waves plugins. Never really been a fan of Waves plugins after I kept having to update and update and update and it just was kind of frustrating. I kind of like left all of my Waves plugins on my MacBook and only moved over the essentials when I built my PC. So let's see if we can replicate this without those specific Waves plugins. So we're gonna duplicate our track here and then pick the individual parts that we want to add that effect on. The truth so 
loud. No more secrets now. I'm on overload. Yeah, let's do that one. Overload. Overload. Just kind of copy that down. Overload. Ready to explode. Explode. Yeah, we'll do that one too. All right, cool. Let's see if we can give that one a shot. So now I have that delay. I like to use repeater. All right, then he added a reverb after that, which once again, lustrous plates. That's what I'm adding. It's my favorite. And we're just gonna turn this down here like this. And then he added a flanger for that. Secret sauce is what he said. Oh, oh, that flanger did add some sauce. Oh, that's actually kind of cool. Usually I've only added flangers on like guitars and stuff like that. Never thought to add it on the effects of vocals. That's a neat trick. I like that. I really like that. Another one for TikTok. Look, all of these tricks can be handy, but if you don't get a good sound at the source, then all of it is useless. If you want to know how to get a great sound at the source, you can download my free ultimate guide to recording vocals at home. Just click the top link in the description and you can have it for free. Getting a good sound at the source is the most important part of any vocal production. And remember earlier when I was using two compressors to get that in your face vocal sound? Well, if you want to know exactly how to do that, you can just click this video right here. In that video, I show you how I use two compressors to compress vocals the right way. So click that video to watch that now. And now as always, go create.